classic hits, 80s, 90s, and today with Boggy and James, the script and Hall of Fame. Well, becoming really famous is Sharon Watson. Her fame started on uh, Friday morning when she won 5K cash for Christmas. And she's very happy. Teacher aide from I Hope High School over the moon, as you would be, winning that amount of money. Not over the moon, though, about uh, getting paid $11 million an hour and then getting it taken away from her. <laughs> this is the uh, fantastic new Nova Pay system that uh, teachers <laughs> are just loving at the moment. What Woke up on Saturday morning. This story was, uh, I think it was the second story on stuff.co.nz. Mm, and all over the front page of the uh, Southland Times. Yep. We even got a mention, sort of. A radio station. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I always wonder why the South of Times don't say that classic hits. Well, they probably don't want to promote the opposition. Do you think that's what it is? Oh, it must be. Fright sure. of us. Mm. Well, I guess that's a lovely compliment, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> a radio station. Well, it was classic hits. We gave away 5K cash for Christmas to uh, Sharon Watson, and I'm sure she's going to enjoy spending that. In fact, that may be her payday to get through the next fortnight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 6.20, forecasting 21 degrees. The high for Invercargill. Some rain, heavy this afternoon, but then clearing later. Good for the garden and the lawns. And an air temperature of 17, overcast at the moment. In the goss today, the pregnant Duchess of Cambridge will attend her first public engagement since she was in hospital with acute morning sickness. Kate Middle Classic hits, White Snake, and here I go again. A lovely photo of Tracy Cook Kelly in the Southland Times. I see, this she morning. made the social pages. Yes. Yeah. Well, you've got to be careful saying the social pages. Oh, was that? Well, usually social pages. That's when they're all in trouble, isn't it? No, no. It's just a lovely photo montage. Lovely <laughs> page of uh, photos. <laughs> yeah, she's there. Had a lovely photo, and uh, not poking her tongue out. Which is rare. You very, say. very rare to get a photo of Tracy Kilkelly without the tongue out, so uh, cut it out and frame it. <laughs> 6.40 funny coming your way shortly. The Kilns Christmas Summer Street Party, Friday, December 21st. All Christmas parties are good. The Kilns is better. In Southland on 98.8 and Tiano on 90.4, this is Classic Hits News. Good morning. The people of Fiji are waiting for Cyclone Evan to hit. The cyclone which has devastated Samoa or heart failure rather than combat. That's Classic Hits News. In Southland News, just $70,000 is needed before work can start on building a new animal shelter for the Southland RSPCA, a public fundraising camp by racegoers. That's news from Malcolm Gay for Christmas Carvery at Embers, December 17th till 23rd at Ascot Park Hotel. In sport, the Wellington Phoenix are refusing to delve into details of racial allegations made against Adelaide. Put waste in its place. Good morning, 6.37, 23 to 7. It's Monday, 17th of December, and I'm Boggy McDowell. I'm James McCroby. Good morning. There will be some rain today, but clearing later on, southwesterly change. Top of 21 before that all happens, really. And uh, that's for River Cargill and Tiano, 23 for Gore. Fine spells and a few showers tomorrow. Westerlies to blow and an air temperature of 18 degrees. Still holding on just over 17 at the moment, but that's a black sky we've got at the moment, and uh, I think it's ready to dump. It looks quite daunting, actually, doesn't it? <laughs> it certainly does. Hey, coming up at a moment, our 640 funny, trying to remember some of the best that we've had through the years. Mm, okay. And uh, hopefully you'll be nice to me all of this week and give me good marks. Ah, of course. <laughs> we'll see. 637. Hi, Sonny Laker from House of Travel. Classic hits, 80s, 90s, today, train and 50 ways to say goodbye. 6.41, saying goodbye to the uh, Boggy Bricky card for 2012, our last one coming up this morning. Thanks to McClay Jewelers, beautiful Pulsar watch can be yours worth just over $200, so uh, take out your Boggy Bricky card, have it nice and handy, 7.45 this morning. Boggy 6.40 funny. OK, trying to remember my favourite stories down through the years as we count down to the last day on uh, Friday. One of my favourites is a guy driving along the road and uh, gets to a stop sign and uh, slows down, looks left, looks right, and then turns the corner and off he goes. Next minute he knows there's a policeman behind him with a siren going and pulling him across the side of the road. And the guy says, so what have you pulled me over here for? And he said, there was a stop sign back there and you didn't stop, you just slowed down. And the guy said, well, I slowed down, I looked left, I looked right, and nobody coming, so I moved on. What's the difference? And the guy says... Well, let me show you. With that, he pulls out his baton and starts hitting the guy on the head. <laughs> and says, do you want me to slow down or stop? <laughs> <laughs> That's quite good, isn't it? You know what? It's Monday. Original. Haven't heard it. Ten. Oh, stop it. Nobody's ever had the blues at Winton. Might have ten.
thing or two about keeping you warm. 6.45, 15 to 7. Uh, the weather forecast is uh, rain clearing by late this afternoon. Should be wonderful for the uh, YMCA carols by candlelight. Yeah, that kicks off tonight. Mm. Band Rotunda. Uh, carols start at about uh, 8 o'clock. In fact, the entertainment, I think, starts about 8 o'clock. Get there early, though. Get a good spot. Take a picnic, perhaps. And it should be all wrapped up by about uh, 9 or 10. Probably about 10, actually. And then maybe take the kids for a bit of a trip around town. Have a look at all the wonderful Christmas lights, the houses Correct. that are lit up around the place. Just superb. Uh, thought for the morning as we count down to 2013. The first to apologise is the bravest. The first to forgive is the strongest. And the first to forget is the happiest. Hey, I'm Tracy Kilkelly. Just want to wish everybody in Southland a fantastic Christmas and, of course, a very merry, spirited New Year. I bet you say that to all the boys. We waited all through the year. Brian Martin. Listen to Southland's Classic Hits 98.8. Streaming online at classichits.co.nz and on our iPhone and Android app. Classic Hits, Beyonce and Jay-Z and Crazy in Love, 7.42, 18 to 8. Facebook chat. And now it is our final week on air for the year uh, and Boggy's Boggy, final week ever on Classic Hits after <laughs> 33 and a half years. Which hard is, to believe, uh, hard uh, to believe. Man, it's a very long time before he moves into his new role uh, next year. If you want to leave a message for Boggy, you can get on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Boggy and James. Uh, a lot of people have done that already and I'll just read out some of them quickly. Mal Smith says, it'll be a sad day. I grew up listening to you and I still have my birdie budgie toy. I won for answering an Olympic question many moons ago. Enjoy what lies ahead. Uh, Andrea Crump says, wow, what an achievement, Boggy. I too grew up listening to 4ZA and Birdie Budgie. Thank you very much for the entertaining Breaky Show. All the very best for your future. You'll be leaving huge shoes to fill. Thank you, Andrea. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure. Uh, Kirsten Mooney says, all the best, Boggy. My mornings will never be the same. You'll be very much missed. Thanks for the years. Uh, we'll do one more. Uh, this is quite nice from Blair Howden. Uh, I can remember uh, growing up uh, to your morning show. I think you started at what was 4ZA the year I was born. I have memories of having my name read out on the on my fifth birthday as part of Bertie Budgie's birthday course. I can remember listening to your show on the way to school every morning and setting off the magic balloon. Oh, yeah, we did too. Uh, Woolly Woofter Awards on Wednesday mornings were always a laugh. Even with the large choice of stations nowadays, I've chosen to stick to a breakfast show that has been there as long as I have. All the best, Boggy. Right. That is making me feel old. Yeah. <laughs> 7.44, Boggy Bricky card in just a moment. It's the album you've been waiting for. 8, 12, 12 past 8 with Boggy and James. Classic hits, Cause and Breathless. Happy birthday to Sophie Hartman, who is nine today. Have a fantastic ninth birthday, Sophie. Lots of love from Nana and Grandad. Baker's Beyond birthday cake coming your way. Chocolate mud cake. You can pick it up from Baker's Beyond after lunchtime today. Right, and if you'd like the CD, Christmas, the polka dots, then uh, fifth caller through 0800 002527, and it's all yours. And the goss today, the pregnant Dutch... 2013 <laughs> Facebook chat. Now it's Boggy's uh, final week on uh, Classic Hits this week after 33 and a half years we've all grown up listening to Boggy on the radio and there's a lot of messages coming through on Facebook if you want to leave one just uh, get on our Facebook page facebook.com forward slash Boggy and James uh, Anita says the Bricky show won't be the same. Good luck Boggy. 33 years of listening to you in the morning. Like all good things they must come to an end. Merry Christmas and all the best for next year. Uh, Vince Pasco says just like Obi-Wan Kenobi you might have gone but we can still hear you. Uh, we appreciate <laughs> Appreciate all you've done for Team Pasco. You're a great guy. May the force be with you, Boggy. Oh, thanks, Vince. Helen McLean says, well done, Boggy. We'll uh, miss waking up to you and your breakfast show. Thanks for everything you've shared with me and my family for the birthday calls, for the many prizes over the years. We wish you all the very best for the future. And we'll do one more. Andre Heads, uh, like everyone else, I've been listening to you uh, for almost 40 years. Quite incredible. Uh, South and Radio won't be the same, but I wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hope 2013 and beyond are great to you and your family. Oh, very nice. Thank you very That's much. It's just a small selection, and we'll just go through a few more of those as we head through the week. Okay, 8.23. Classic Hits has your tickets to wreck it well. Centrepoint Liquorland, the starting point at good times, right in the centre point of town. Classic Hits, 8.46. Facebook chat. Yeah, farewell messages for Boggy if you've got one. Facebook.com forward slash Boggy and James. And Nicola Patterson says, oh, wow, the show won't be the same. All the best for the future. Thanks for the memories. Bronwyn says, uh, going to miss listening to your 640 funny. Mm -hmm. uh, going to miss hearing your voice on the radio. All the best for your future journeys. And Deborah Ford says, uh, sad to see you go from the Classic Hits family. Good luck to you, Boggy. Merry Christmas to you and your family. I really 
really enjoyed listening to you over the years. Oh, thank you very, very much. Much appreciated. If I only have three words to describe... The Garage Door Centre has the Conqueror Automatic Door Range. After nine, the one and only Marie Lindsay. Good morning. I hope you've got the Sunday Star Times handy and that keyword to get you into the Classic Hits Winery Tour VIP prize. We'll get one more person in the draw, all right, next hour, and then after 11 o'clock, someone's going to win over $7,500 worth of prize right here. As part of our nine to five, no repeat workday, Classic Hits. And Justin, happy, happy birthday, Shane Jones. Five today and all the best at Donovan Primary School after the school holidays. Hi, Penny Simmons from the Southern Institute of Technology. From all of us here at SIT, I'd like to wish the whole of Southland a very safe and enjoyable Christmas and festive season and all the best for next year. Me and my well, as predicted, the rain has arrived and hopefully it'll blow on through by the time Carol's by Candlelight with the YMCA and Classic Hits start tonight. Hope to see you there. If not, catch you tomorrow at 6 with James. AB. Really good, Bruno Mars. And locked out of heaven, 6.52, 8 to 7. You with Boggy and James on Classic Hits, forecasting a top today of 17 for River Cargill. Fine spells, some evening showers. Uh, Boggy's final week on Classic Hits, of course, if you want to get a message to him, uh, you can text them through this morning. Text INV, leave a space in your uh, farewell message to 4487. I've got an email here. It says, uh, well, Boggy, your final week of early morning starts. Congratulations on a long and successful career. Morning airwaves will be very different without you. You will be missed. No excuse for uh, early night. Now, not that you use that as an excuse in the past. <laughs> uh, good luck with your afternoon sessions. May see more of you on the GC, the golf course. Uh, that's from Tony Chatterton. Oh, very nice. Yeah, and I should say too, uh, we've organised the champagne breakfast this coming Friday morning. Wow, uh, you? <laughs> you've been yeah. really busy, haven't you? Yeah, I've been reasonably busy, just mm. beavering away behind the scenes. Good man. Um, so, going to put the invitation out now. If anyone wants to come in and say good day, have a have a cheeky little glass of bubbles on Friday morning. Oh, uh, doors will be open from about six. Right. Feel free to swing by corner of Don and Devon streets. Uh, we might even have a bit of food. Who knows? Probably just drink, but um, <laughs> however, we'd love to see this coming Friday morning from 6 for a bit of a farewell champagne uh, breakfast for Box. I hope I make it through to 9. 6.53. <laughs> G'day, this is Jason Dave. We've done it again. We love it. We've made Classic Edge, 12 past 7 on Rike Iglesias and Escape. Facebook chat. From Carrie Ann Scarlett this morning, of course, uh, Boggy's alarm is only going to go off at 4.30am for another three mornings <laughs> before he, uh, he gets Went a little off sleep. at three this morning, <laughs> I couldn't get back to sleep. Oh, body clock's going to be just flipped upside down. Uh, Carrie Ann Scarlett says, Merry Christmas, guys. Boggy, thanks for all your many, many years of entertaining listening. You were the only station we listened to as, uh, in our household as kids, and it stayed that way through the years. Thank you for all the wonderful prizes you will be sorely missed. Good luck uh, for all your future endeavours. It's from Carrie Ann Scarlett. Uh, Facebook, you can get on there if you want to send Boggs a message on his final week or text INV, leave a space, and your message through to 4487. And I'm uh, delighted that you've organised a champagne breakfast yeah, it's on happening. Friday. Yeah, this Friday morning, uh, the final show, you're more than welcome to join us. Uh, we're going to be open from 6, so we're going to have champagne, obviously. Possibly a bit of food. Uh, we'd love you to swing by, say good day, farewell. And have a wee tipple with mm. us, perhaps, nice and early on. Just one if you're driving. Yeah, perhaps. <laughs> yeah. Seven thirteen. In the goss today. I'm loving where we are. Seven twenty-three. Jamie McDowell. Uh, life in sunshine. M e M C D E L L. Sounds very much like McDowell. It's not though. You, and can't, you can't claim her. I'm sure, well, I think we can. <laughs> Because they reckon there's only sort of five surnames in the world and uh, most are created by spelling mistakes. Right. <laughs> right. You see? So that McDowell probably was a McDowell. You're still going to claim it, are you? Yep. Okay. Anybody with a bit of talent, we need as much as we can in the family. <laughs> but it's a great song. Life and sunshine. And uh, we're going to get a bit of sunshine today. Fine spells, top of 17, Primper Cargill and Gore. Vivian Roberts has got a little message here for you, Boggy. All right. Uh, she says, you've been part of my morning for all the years you've been on air in Southland. Many thanks for the prizes, the jokes, and your golf stories. Continue, <laughs> continue to work on your golf handicap. Thanks. Enjoy not having to set the alarm in the middle of the night. Looking forward to listening to you on your new time slot. But don't worry, James. We'll still listen to you in the morning. Oh, good. Thank you, Vivian. Appreciate right. it. <laughs> 7.23 also got this. May your stuffing be tasty. May your turkey be plump. May your potatoes and gravy have never a lump. 
May your yams be delicious and your pies take the prize. And may your Christmas dinner stay off your thighs. That's good, isn't it? Yes. Merry Christmas, everyone. Very good. 7.24. Classic Hits says your tickets to wreck it well. Join the conversation on Classic Hits Facebook page. Search Boggy and James in the morning on Facebook. Yeah, from Jane Elizabeth Hall. And uh, I'd like to read it for you now. <clears throat> right, okay. If I may. Boggy, we've never met, but like a lot of folk in Southland, I feel like I know you very well. I remember listening to you on the radio when Anne had David and you rang from the hospital. Did you do that? <laughs> yep. I think like many, we all fired up. Uh, Felt part of your family over the years as we shared the births of your children, their successes and overseas travels. Thank you for being a great radio host. As long as you have, you've brought the radio alive and into our homes. Your voice is one that we are so used to hearing. It just won't be the same. Good luck for the future. Oh, that's very nice. Very nice isn't it? Who was that from? <coughs> oh, Jane. Uh, Jane Elizabeth Hall. Oh. Thank you. Um, any other messages, you can send them through and uh, I'll do my best to read them all out as we head through the week. Facebook.com forward slash Boggy and James. Please give me your honest feedback. Well... You're a bit of a dick. Boggy 640 Funny Replay. Okay, going through the uh, best stories uh, through the years. Uh, This one's a yarn about two women who go out one weekend without their husbands. And as they came back right before dawn, both of them, a bit worse for wear, uh, felt the urge to have a pee. And they noticed that the only place to stop was a cemetery. Scared and just a little drunk, they stopped and decided to go there anyway. Uh, the first one didn't have anything to, uh, you know, clean herself with, so she took off her panties and used them to clean herself and discarded them. The second, not finding anything either, thought, well, I'm not getting rid of my panties, so she used the ribbon of a flower wreath to clean herself. The morning after, the two husbands were talking to each other on the phone, and one says to the other, We have to be on the lookout. It seems that those two were up to no good last night. My wife came home without her panties. And the other one said, Well, you're lucky. Mine came home with a card stuck on her bottom that said, We'll never forget you. (laughs) That is very good. Far too much use of the word panties for my liking. I'm going to give you a 9 out of 10. It's Farmers Club Day this Tuesday, and Farmers Club members get exclusive magazine this Christmas. Okay, I've offered to play walking around in women's underwear for Christmas. Uh, If I get ten yeses, so far I've only got five, so it's not looking good. You'll have to call 0800 002527 before uh, 7.30. If you want to get a uh, farewell message to Boggy, you can uh, hop on our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Boggy and James, and leave one there. This one's come through on the email, though, and I will read it out. It's my job this week. (laughs) I never knew this lady was from Avocado. She's a legend in... uh, in New Zealand radio. Uh, it says, Boggy, you legend. I wish I was down there in Invercargill for your last breakfast shift on Classic Hits. Are we thinking of you as I charge my glass in Auckland? From one fellow Southlander to another, I thank you for all your help when I started as 4ZA, uh, at 4ZA as a receptionist about 25 years ago. Mm. Cripes, I feel old now. Mind you, if I feel old, you must feel ancient. <laughs> Do you remember when I started? I'm sure I accidentally cut off lots of calls to you as I was being trained on the phone system. Anyway... It's a good thing I've moved on from the phone lines. I'm so wrapped we'll be hearing your dulcet tones on coast. Take care and have a wonderful Christmas and New Year. All the best. I'm going to try and read out her full name. Fa Niniva Tapau Fa Sisina Fa Opopo Ritimanu. Uh, Otherwise known as Neveriti Manu. Mm. Very, very good news reader. Or as I like to call her, Neverita Tomato. <laughs> yes. Uh, used to wear the most amazing clothes that she used to make and her mother used to make as well. For so her. she's actually from Invercargill? Oh, very much All so. Right. Uh, yeah, very much a Southland family. Great so, news reader. So there you go. Okay. 717. Thanks, Neva. <laughs> Classic hits. Classic at 753, 728, and one of Santa Claus's little elves has arrived. <laughs> Hello, Anne Robbie. <laughs> Good morning. I've actually got my elf suit in the car. <laughs> <laughs> you look absolutely fantastic in your uh, red uh, blouse, I should call that, and uh, your apron. Oh, and then we're Christmassy underneath as well. The <laughs> and, and you've got your little reindeer antlers. I with have. bells on them. Give them I all have. your rattle the bells. I have. Yeah. Oh, There's been a bit of rutting going on, though, because look. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, Anne, you know... are a bit droopy. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't been into the wine as well. <laughs> now, you know you're a day early for our champagne breakfast. Oh, you know, am I? All the yes. action's happening tomorrow. Oh, right. I might be a bit busy tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> but you are a bearer of gifts, I see. Oh, More just, food. Lovely. Just, just the usual Christmas cake for you, Boggy. Oh, uh, yes, of course. But you're gonna, this is the last one you'll get. Yeah. It'll go to James next year. Yeah, that's fair oh, enough. Look, I hate to say it, but I'm not a big fan of fruitcake. Oh, well, I love it. 
So I'm, I can pass mine on to Box. I'll be still here. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Just remember, there's no alcohol in the cake, but you can drink alcohol when you're baking. Can you? Yeah. Right. I always cook with with wine. Well, the cake's standing yeah. up straight. It is. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all right. And what? What? Have we, oh, we got something in here as well. Did you get one? Yeah, of these, we did actually. Sure. Oh, we yeah. might need those for tomorrow. Oh, wait a minute. Well, this is great. Early start to Christmas. Woohoo! Sissy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> little a little packet of tissues. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Better put in your man bag. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I got my handbag. Did you see my handbag? No. Yeah. It's a ham. Oh, a ham bag. Uh, yes, this because I've got the big ham to pick up today or tomorrow. I think. Right. I hope it's not too big. The ham. Yes. Yeah, I went for ten kgs. I think. So how many people are you feeding? Oh, about twenty. For how many days? <laughs> <laughs> or weeks, should I say. <laughs> <laughs> One day, then we'll kick them out. <laughs> thank you, Anne, for, no the, uh, for the for the Kleenex, the yes. tissues. Yes, we may need them tomorrow. Yes, and yes. thank you, and make sure you no have problems. a very, very merry, merry Christmas, won't you? Yes, you do, too. <laughs> All right. I'll look forward exactly. to the next, next Christmas carol. All right. Just for Sports Southland. <laughs> you don't want that they woman... You don't like that woman's an underwear... No, and not that one that's the 12 days of Christmas that goes through everything. Frank Kelly. Yes. Takes about 12 days to listen to it. I turn the radio off when that comes on. Oh, well, we won't be doing that. <laughs> no, right, fine. <laughs> Seven minutes. 824. Another message here on Facebook from Coral Douglas. Oh, Coral, yeah. She says, last day, Boggy. We'll miss your cheery voice every morning. Like a lot of others have said, I grew up listening to you. Mum and Dad will be able to hear you again as they listen to Coast. All oh, right. <laughs> Have fun in Mulaney's. Mulaney? Yeah, that's where David's getting married. Uh, Coral says, I love it there. Vineyards, you know. Anyway, all the best. And uh, she says she might just have to tune into Coast from time to time. And I think she streams this, doesn't she, from Australia? I thought Coral lived in Brisbane. Yeah. I could be wrong. But anyway, Coral, thank you very much for your message. Well, it sounds right. So she'll know about Mulaney and such like. Mm. Well, that's very, very nice. 8.24. If I only had three words to describe...